Hello everyone, this is Valhalla Gaming TV and it's the channel that plays everything so you don't have to. We are back again with Satisfactory and it's going to be part 32. In the last episode, we finally got to phase 3. We've been playing this for a little while now. We uh, got 32 episodes and we made it to the next part and we get to unlock all sorts of cool stuff. I'm going to check out the new tiers and see what we can do from there. If you guys are new to this uh, channel, welcome. Glad to see you here and if you've been here before, thank you for your support. Let's get into it. Okay. We got ourselves in here. We got those, uh, let's see, versatile frameworks going. We'll just leave that going since it's already being made. Look at that, 2,500. We should be able to hit that number pretty soon. Now let's go over to the old hub and see what kind of stuff we can work on now. I'm super excited. I know there's a jetpack and I definitely want to work on that. Okay, it's jetpack time. Let's see. Five and six. Ooh. So much more stuff. Jetpack is the first one. Oh, we got to make these motors. We get more inventory slots. Okay, let's go through everything real quick. So we got jetpacks. Allows the pioneers to travel through the air with increased control. Okay, and fuel is automatically consumed. That's good to know. Oil processing. Okay, we got... Oh, polymer resin. We needed that to do some of the upgrades. Polymer... What? Petroleum coke. Interesting. New shop products. Oil extractors, refineries. Okay, all sorts of cool stuff. Oh, and fuel. Uh, can be used is to generate power or package to be used for fuel vehicles or a jetpack. I think we're going to have to use that one. Logistics MK4. The MK4 belts 480 resources per minute. That's super fast. Oh, and they got a truck. Picks up and delivers resources at the truck station. It's just like the tractors, but it holds double the slots. Very cool. Fluid packaging. Okay, looks like we got a packager and we can put stuff in there. Oh, like barrels and stuff. Okay. Petroleum power. Fuel power generator, industrial fluid buffer. And caterium ore. We already have that. Scannable resource. Oh, maybe that's for the item scanner. Okay, so we got a new fuel, uh, power generator. We're going to want to do that. Let's look at tier 6. Why is that blinking? It's all messed up. Industrial manufacturing. Manufacturer? Oh, look, it's got four. That must be like the assembler, but it has four inputs now. Computer, heavy modular frame. Oh, there's the engine and the adaptive control unit. So we can get to phase four. Monorail train technology. Ooh. We're not there yet, but we're getting there. Freight car, railway, freight platform. Oh, for fluid as well. Platform with catwalks. And we got the signals. All right. Pipeline engineering MK2. Oh, I can do 600 mil, uh, milliliters cubed of fluid per minute. And we got a new pump. And we got more blueprints here. It's created. Okay. And maybe it's bigger. Maybe that's what it is. Very cool. Well, we got to start here. Looks like we got to start with the jetpack. Let's do that. So select milestone. We're going to need them plates and cables. Now we got plates. There we go. Cables we need more of. And what about those motors? What do those take? Can we make them in here? We can. It takes... Oh, it's those again. The statters or whatever. Staters. And we need rotors. So we need 50 of those motors. I guess I'll do this real quick. Okay, I decided against it. It's going to take way too long to make all that. I think we just got to make some factories that are going to automatically make these things. That's what we got to do. Oh, we got two more coupons. I'll wait on that. Okay, let's get some of those little mini miners. MK2. So we can make some more of those miners. There we go. I put some in here. Let's sort. Now, from here, let's find a place to make them. I definitely want to get that jetpack going, so that's what I'm going to work on first. But we got to make those, uh, what do we call it? So the motors. We need to make the staters or staters. 
and when we hover over them, yeah, staters. I don't know what it's called, the staters or staters. I'll just call it a stater. And we need uh, copper wire and those pipes. So we need to work towards that. Automate that bad boy. We got copper over here. I could upgrade these over here. And I'll leave it be. So we need to make, we need iron so we can make those steel pipes. And then we also need to do um, copper wire. So we need an iron node and a copper node. So let's see if we can find a free one. Let's look around a little bit. Um, copper node. Oh, we got one over here. Let's see if we can find an iron one nearby. Another one that way, too. Looks like it might be over this way, where the, the coal um, power plants are. What kind of iron or a copper are we looking at? Is it a pure one? It's a normal one. That could still work. And we got an empty iron node over here. Oh, we might be able to do something here. Okay. What do we got? Impure? Normal? Come on. It's a normal one. Okay, we got two normal ones. This could work out. And we can build like right over here. Build it right off the road. Come here, mode trucker. Boom. Got him. Okay. So we know we got the copper node there and the iron node here. So we can just build this direction off the road. Now I just got to get back up there. Okay, I made it up here. Let's go this direction. I'm going to do something a little bit different with this factory. I'm going to go out 10 that way. Go all the way down this way. Go all the way this way. And we're going to connect it all the way back to the road. Mm, to nine. There we go. And this isn't anything different. But from here, I'm going to build it all the way into the ground. And we're running low on plates. Got to be careful on that. Because I used them all for the the milestone for the jetpack. I have to go grab some more. Something like that. I'm going to drop down below. And I don't got enough plates. I'm going to go grab some real quick. Okay, we're back at the factory. Let's drop down. And now we are going to build it vertical. We always have this stuff floating. I don't want it to float no more. We're going to have a vertical factory. With multiple floors. So clearly, we're going to have to do something like, let's see. Clearly, the height of this is a problem. So the first floor is going to be like right here. And then the rest of it. Does that clear all of that? It looks like it does. Good. Okay. Then we can go over here. Connect this. All the way across. And we're going to need some more concrete. Luckily, we got some right over here. So I'm going to go grab that real quick. Okay, we are back. Let's start building some more of this factory. 
I'm gonna definitely have to learn how to do some cool buildings, but for now, I'm not too sure how to do all that, and I don't got a lot of it unlocked, so we're just kind of throwing stuff together. And eventually, I'll make everything look really nice. And now, it's all about getting stuff built. Maybe something I can build off of later. And I just want it all connected to the main road. That's the most important thing at the moment. Okay. There's a floor here. We got the pillars. So from there, we can just put some walls. Oh, and I got those windows. I do have windows. Oh, and we need silica. Well, luckily I got a factory for that that I haven't been to in a while. Let's go pick some of that up. Okay, we made it back. Let's go ahead and parachute down here. And so instead of those walls, we can make some sweet windows. Let's see what kind of windows they got here. They got the, let's see, honeycomb ones look cool. X frame ones are interesting. Triple frame. I guess I can just be like, yeah, there we go. Angled framed ones, those are cool. I'm thinking maybe these are the hex ones. Um, yeah, maybe these. Let's go with the hex ones. That should be pretty cool. Now we actually have some windows to see into the factories. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Hey, we'll make the floors five tall. I think that'll be good. Work out just right. Let's make the windows all the way around this. We can also make like a door. Let's finish all these up. Okay, we got this whole thing sealed up. Now we probably want to have a door. Probably like right over here. That way we can get in and out of here. That should work. Now, can I paint this? Black. Oh, you can. Okay, that'll work. And let's do a little, uh, little set of steps here. Make sure we can connect to it. There we go. Now we can enter. That works out. And now we gotta find a way to get up there. But for now, let's go get our miners going. We got this one right here. Production Miner MK2. We can turn this towards the building. And then this is gonna be for the iron ore. And how are we gonna pull the power in? Got a power there, power there. You got any other power cords around here? Looks like we got some over here going down that way. Hmm. You know, one thing we could do as well is I could just run power lines underneath the road itself. That'd be interesting. Or even along the sides of it. Let's try something like that. Power line. Put it like down here. Then grab that. Bring it underneath. And the cool thing about the wires here, well, I guess we can do something like this. So it at least looks like it's not going through something. That's a little bit better. And then we can pull it towards the center. And then pull it this way. Let's get up over here. Oh, that miner is going right through the... Uh-oh. 
Is it poking through? Don't tell me it's poking through. I can't tell. I hope it's not. You're not poking through, are you? Oh, it's not. Okay. Thank God I was worried. That was going to make me really frustrated. Okay. That'll be okay, even though it looks kind of dumb. All right, Mr. Road. You go right there. Connect to that. Go straight past this. I mean, kind of connect the buildings. Like, we got this here. It's not really a wall, it's a window, but I guess we can do it on the window as well. Like a double outlet. At this point, we should probably just, like, Hmm. Maybe not have windows all the way across. Maybe some walls on the top. Yeah, maybe we'll do something like that. So let's get rid of this. Get rid of these windows. And then from there, we'll do some walls. Basic walls. Put them on top, all the way across. And those should be... Oh, they're black too, right? Nope. But we're gonna make them black. There we go. And we'll just do that all the way across. Okay, we got them all done. Look at that. Now let's get that double-sided uh, wall outlet. Put it like right up here. And then I can just do regular wall outlets like this. Let's turn my flashlight on, that'll help. And just put them all the way down like this. And by doing it this way, this means I got power throughout the whole building. And since these have so many connections, I'll be able to connect it to everything. Shouldn't have any issues. I didn't even try to, uh, <laughs> I didn't even try to build anything in here yet, so I don't even know if this is going to be big enough. Probably not. But let's see how compact I can make it and try to build vertically. Let's get all these wires connected. Let's get those ones connected for now. Okay. So we also got to have some areas to pull in the ore. And I guess we don't really need to have all these, do we? Just put the walls here. Get rid of these big corners. Gives us more room. Yeah, I think that's a lot better. Well, I guess I painted the top black. But yeah, that's a lot better that way. I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, there we go. All the corners are up. That looks better. Now we got a big glass box with much more room. Okay, before we pull anything in here, we are trying to make those, uh, let's see, motors. I keep forgetting the name of it. Staten or Statters. So we need to make copper wire and pipes. Also looks like we need rotors, too. What do we need for the rotors? Rotors, screws, and all that. Yeah, this is going to be quite a bit. We could pipe them in, or we could just all make them in this one area and just keep going up with it. Like, one level will make each thing. It's going to be real interesting. 
And we also got to do it all from this one normal node. I don't think that's going to be enough. You know, we should try to overclock. That's not something I've done before. Yeah, it would probably be helpful. Before we do that, though, let's try to pipe this in here. And let's get a different wall. Something like that. Let's paint it black. I guess you're going over here. Okay. So let's work on one thing at a time, I guess. Production. We're going to need to bring this in and use smelters. So... Because all this ore needs to be smelted. So we'll just start it here. Bring it in. And now let's get some of those splitters. Line it up. We got 120 coming in. Again, before I do any of this, I should probably uh, overclock it as far as I can to see how much is actually going to be coming in. So let's go. Let's go get some of that stuff to overclock it. Got to go to the hub. Okay, I grabbed some of the slugs. Let's see what we can make with the slugs. Um, power shards. Okay. Let's make like four. It uh, looks like I can only make eight of these. Wait a minute. Power shard two. Where's power shard one? Or does it upgrade itself or something? Power shard one. I'm confused. Oh, it just makes power. Okay, never mind. So it just makes power shards, and then these the yellow ones just make two of them, and this just makes one. Okay. Well, then we can make a couple of them. Let's make 20 of them and call it a day. I got confused there. I thought it was like different levels of power shards, but I was wrong on that. Misread it. Okay, sort that out. I still don't know what these Sommer sloops are for. I guess we'll find that out later as well. Let's go back over here to this miner. All right, we're back here. We got those power shards. Okay, I put one in there. Overclock. 180. Oh my god, I can fully overclock it. 300 per minute. Holy macaroni. Okay, we can get 300 per minute. From a normal node. That's pretty crazy. I still don't know if that's going to be enough, but... I guess the bottom floor will just be for smelters. That's what it'll be. Okay, so, oh, we can also, I think we can upgrade these too. There's a smelter, 30 per minute. Okay, so if we overclock them, I gotta be careful because it will use exponential power. So I don't think I need to overclock these. Just leave them the way they are. I think I'm already getting to a, you know, I'm getting close to not having enough power. Don't necessarily wanna say that, but it's, it's a thing, okay? It's a thing. All right, these are powered up. We're gonna make iron. So we got 300, so we need 10 of these. Okay. Let's put 10 down. We got two, three, four, too far, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay. 
let's move this over here. Play some more of these bad boys. And we'll do it all the way down. Okay, I wired them all. So technically, I don't need to wire these ones. To that, we can use straight across. Something like that. Wire each one. And we got seven different connections with these, which is awesome. So it can power so much. Okay. Now let's copy these. Control. C, there we go. Make sure these are all pasted in. And let's hopefully they have power. Shouldn't they be yellow? No power. Why is there no power? Ah, because I never connected it. Boom. And now there's power. Good. All right, let's copy these all the way down. Okay, there it goes. And I also didn't think about it. It needs 300 and this only does 270. I didn't think about that. Can I lower that to 270? Great. 270. There we go. So that means that I don't need the 10th one. At least not for now. Goodbye. That way, we are running at the rate we need to be at. All these bad boys are going to start smelting. So that's a bunch of iron we got coming out of there. Okay, and then the next thing we need to do, what are we going to work on first? Motors. Well, we need to make these. So, we also need to make them into steel. So steel. Ah, uh, we don't got no coal here. We need coal too, and we don't have enough of that. So the other thing I can do is just pull coal in from the trucks because it keeps bringing in coal or maybe I can just pipe one of the coal nodes over here, one of the miners. Hmm. Well for now, let's work on the other stuff. Um, motor. And we can work on we need for the rotors. We just do rotors for this for now. So let's do the screws and rods. Okay. So let's just pipe all these out real quick. Let's do those logistics. We're gonna do a mergers. Like that. And we're gonna pull them out that direction. Line it up. Okay, lined up properly. Now let's get all the conveyor belts connected. Sometimes I connect them wrong and they just end up doing some big circles, looking all weird. Just like that. Nope. Go like that. There we go. Okay, we got 270 iron ingots coming out of here. 
now what we can do is get the constructors. Let's see. So if we want to make a rotor, where are we at? We need an assembler for that. But we do need rods and screws. So let's go back to the assembler. And we're going to go to a rotor. And we got 20 iron rods per minute, 100 screws per minute. Okay. We need iron rods. And then we also need screws. If I remember right, it's 40 screws for each one of the constructors. Yep, 40. And we need 10 rods per minute. So we just need a bunch of rods. 20 rods. And it makes 40. We could just increase that, honestly. Hmm. Well, we got 270 here. Let me let me do some calculations. Okay. I don't need to have all these connected. That's just gonna make it confusing. Let's get rid of all that. Get rid of all these. And then I guess we can leave it like, well, let's just get rid of these two. Because I'm just going to calculate it based on what the smelteries need to put out, and they'll go to each area. I think that'll be easier because each one of these produce 30. They're already set up to be efficient. Now, if I want to have a constructor, Something like one here. Like that. And one there. This produces 30. And if it comes out here, it'll be 15 into each one of these for the rods. So that would make 30 rods. And now if I did it again here, that one's, uh, this one smell three would go there as well. Interesting. Can we stack these on top of each other? It's kind of going through the wall there. Let me get on top and see. I guess if I did like a foundation and put it here and then got rid of it. Overlapping with another object. Hmm. I'm trying to think vertically. Okay, I kind of stacked them up like that. I wonder how that's going to work. And then this one smelter would go to these two on the bottom, maybe, and th this one would go up. And that would be 60 rods. Ooh, this is going to get confusing. But they're stacking up. Look at that. Okay. Let's try a splitter. So this splitter is going to go into both of these. Now, it's not going to be completely straight. But it's going to go like that. And then these are going to take in for iron rods. And then I got the wires up here to plug them in. And now this one is going to get lifted up. Or technically, maybe I could do something like... Hmm. Still trying to figure out how I'm going to do it. It's definitely more confusing. 
Because it's not going to look super good like this. It would look cool though if they were all up there. Hmm. And that's supposed to be good for both of those. Let me just try to connect this. Organization, logistics, MK3. Is that high enough or is it too high? I'm hoping it, that's not too high. Nope, it goes down. Dang it. I was one high. Is that good? Okay, that looks good. Now. If I just went out like this, if I go like that, yeah, and then I can do like a splitter. So splitter, that's overlapping with an object though. This is going to, I'm making it real difficult <laughs> instead of just connecting them. Okay, that vertical stuff got a little too serious. I'm going to pull out the constructors again. Let's see. I'm going to line them up like this down here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Six. That means I need threes three to come straight down here. So let's merge them. And then these ones are all going to be for rods. And then let's control C. Copy them. So we got a bunch of rods coming from this. Let's do some splitters. So we're gonna come straight out of there. Looks like it lines up with that one. So now we can just do something like this. Pull it out this way. Pull this one out that way. And this one's gonna go right out that way. like that all of a sudden it's gonna start looking good and just copy this all the way down do a manifold should be plenty. And I still made enough room for the belts to get around to pipe it out if I need to, which I will. And I can wrap it around. Right over on this side. Now I need to power all these. Just like that. I'm all plugged into the wires up here. And that's nice and straight. And those should all be producing enough to make those rods. And that's going to be 20, let's see. It's going to be 15 per minute. So that's 30, 60. And we're going to have 90. So 90 rods. When it comes to the assembler, how much do we need coming in here? 
We need the screws for the rotors. So we need a hundred screws. Okay. So if they're making 40 a piece. Let's see. Let's grab a constructor. 40 times five, that's 200. So we need five of these. And how many do we need for the screws? We need 10. So we only need 50 rods coming in. We're gonna have more than that. We're gonna have 90. So we gotta split them off somehow. We can pull them through this side. Hmm. Okay. I can overclock. Let's start trying to do this. So, 90 split in half is 45. We need to get 100. So, if this one's going to be making 15, we need an extra 5. So let's add one to overclock. We want 20. That means we need 20 iron ingots per minute. That means that one of these needs to produce five more. So overclock this. And then we're gonna do 35. There we go. That doesn't change the amount of ore coming in though. So that's a little bit of a problem. Because the ore is overclocked as much as it can go out there. So we'll just have to underclock this one by five. We'll have to see where that goes. And now that these are going to be making the hundred, I can split it in half and it'll be enough for the other side with the screws. So let's get some more of these mergers. We want it to go out that direction. Too far. Getting too far. All right, let's get off from jumping on them. Line it up. Over here. Okay, we got the rods over here. Now what we're gonna have to do is get these constructors. We need five of them. So something like that. One, two, Three, four, five. And we're gonna have to make screws with these. Paste. And we're gonna have to wire them all. Let's grab that. Take a little bit from each of these. we go all plugged in now we need splitters we're gonna have to get uh, this is a splitter here so we're gonna pull it in this way and it's gonna go right there and then this is gonna turn this way line up with that and it's gonna go right there Rotate that back into place. And that should be the perfect amount. These to go all the way down, connect to each other. go and then connect this to this and this will go here and technically since these are making the screws it's gonna make 200 of them and I can make another 200 on the other side 
from just this. Which I should probably do. So there'll be 200 coming out of here. And then I can have another 200 coming out as well. And that means that I could do how many assemblies? I'm making the rotors. It would be four per minute per assembly. 100 screws. So I'd be able to make eight and then another 200. And that would be um, a 16 per minute. For rotors and then the rods, we need 20, 40 per minute. No, nope, uh, 20, 40, 60, 80. We would need 80 per minute. Which we have all those other, all that other iron over there. Should be easy enough. But we can just be blowing rotors out of here. I guess we're just gonna make this into another rotor factory. Just a better one. Well, let's do that. Because we got the rotors, we can do it. We got that other rotor factory over there making that smart place, but it's not a very good one. This one's gonna be a much more efficient one and it's gonna look cooler. Okay, let's rotate this. Uh, before we do that, let's merge this. Uh, mergers, get this connected. And we want it to go out that direction. Keep it lined up. There we go. This looks like it's not lined up. And it wasn't. It is now. And these are all going to come out. Put them all the way down. There we go. And let's copy it over here. Okay. I got all these set up. They're all producing steel. Or not steel, but um, screws. And this is going to be making 400 total. So I'm going to have to bring these out separately. And then I'm going to need to make 80 rods. So let's see. Constructors. I'm going to make 80 rods, 15 per minute. That's 30, 60. I'll be making up to 90. I guess the last one I can cut down by 10, which actually would work out with one of these. So, let's see. We're going to need to pull some of these over here. We need some more constructors. Can pull this direction. Maybe like right here. And we're gonna have it go that direction. So that's gonna be 15. Uh, flip it out this way. 30. 45. 60, 75, 90. The last one, we're going to drop it down to five per minute. So that should be, let's see, 15, 30, 60, 75, 80. And that means we need 15 ingots, so we're gonna need one smelter, two smelter, three smelters. Okay. So we can do these ones on the end here. The mergers. We 
can almost line it up with that. Is this a merger or a splitter? No, it's a splitter. Okay. That one's not going to line up completely. We can do something like... Okay, that'll work. Let's get the mergers. Rotate this this way. We're going to do it that way. And that way. And that one's not lined up for some reason. What was it lining up with? I don't know. It didn't line up with what I needed. Through there, and you're only gonna do five per minute. I know it's crazy, only five. What a waste! And then we're gonna go this way. That one's gonna get connected. Line these up. all plugged in. And it's not plugged in correctly. Wanted to go in that way. Alright, one sec. Now we gotta wire them all. Two, four, three. And there we go. All wired up. Now we need to do the mergers. For all the rods, which they're not all rods yet. Copy. Paste. And that should be just enough. Now let's do some mergers. Did the bug thing again. There we go. We want it to go this way. And once this is all done, this should be enough for, I think, four of those assemblies. I don't think there's going to be enough room down here to fit it. Unless I expanded it out a little bit further this way. But the whole idea was to keep it really compact in here. So I wonder if I can make it work still. Those assemblers are going to be big. So if I can connect them here, I need four of them. Then bring him out that way. I don't think I got enough room. I'm cutting it real close. Let's see, putting it like right over here. Yeah, and you can't put them super close to each other. So I think expanding is the answer here. But all the power cords are here. Or we just go up to the second floor here. That's probably the right the right answer. But look how awesome this looks. Looking pretty cool. But we'll have to continue on the next episode with the assemblies and get the rotors going and then work on the other stuff to get the uh, other stuff going. I'm going to need to have coal here and to make steel. Then we also got this middle one here that we can pull stuff out of. Yeah. There's some more work to be done. All right, everybody. I'll see you in the next episode. Later. Hey, everyone. You made it to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. On the bottom of the screen, if you like, comment, share, subscribe, you can support the channel. Also, check out the videos above. That'll take you to more content from Valhalla Gaming TV. Thanks again. Later.